Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 46 Chalice Round of 64 match between the Dusk Bunny and his Amazons and Devak and his Kemri. In the booth with me is Calcium. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Let me get old. <laughs> um, well, let's have a look at the teams then. We've got a Tackle Pommer, that's good, isn't it? The the upside down Skull Blitzra there with um, Tackle Pom jump up, very nice. Yeah. Block Tomb Guardian. And a Block Mighty Tomb Guardian. So that's good, isn't it? Three dices with those to get people down. Yeah. Um, the jump up on the Agi 2 isn't ideal, but it's the same as putting jump up on a Claw Pommer Chorf, isn't it? You know, more often than not, it's going to work. And when it does work, it's just glorious. Yeah. And, oof. Oh, and, of course, it just helps. Give, it just gives him range as well, right? Bl like, blitzing. Yeah, turn, yeah, it? repositioning. Like, yeah. That's one of the things against Zons. If you've only got one tackle pommer, and then, like, you pile on, well, you're like, well, now I don't have the tackle to blitz, you know, a relevant position next turn. So it, it does make it harder to pile on, whereas with that guy, you can freely pile on and then just, just get anywhere next turn. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of value in that. Makes the pickup, Whew. and uh, the Zons are down quite a decent amount of TV. They've got a Babe, they've got a Wizard, and they've got Roxana Darknail, which is oh, just she's just Roxana in this, but she is Roxana Darknail in the actual rules. Yep. Um, and he's got some things, hasn't he? He's got Adge up there, some Guard, move up. He's got some chances. It's just typical disgustous Amazon nonsense. But talking yeah. about Amazon nonsense, their armor seven is behaving like armor seven right now. Yeah. Uh, two too. removals off turn one. That's pretty good return, isn't it? Even with a reroll. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I was about to say when you mentioned the Wiz, Jim, um, a wizard against Kemri, it's just unfair, isn't it? It's just unfair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you've still got some players left. To take advantage of it, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shatter Dice mentioned Decay earlier. Don't get me started on Decay. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, honestly. Um, I, I literally haven't picked up a Kemri team since Decay was introduced. I just can't do it. It's just nonsense. Yeah. Do, do you know why? Do you know why they gave them Decay, right? They literally thought that they'd buffed Fouling. Going from... from Living Rubric 4 to CRP, they actually believed they had buffed fouling. That's how clueless the Blood Bowl Rules yeah. Commission were. Yeah, just utterly Doesn't re -roll clueless. That. Oh, why didn't he re-roll that? <sighs> Kiss goodbye to your key player. Oh, oh wow. my lord. Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> GG. Yeah, fireball maybe? Or bolt? Yeah. No, he's not going for it. He, he should have thought about the fireball or the bolt there, I think. But, yeah. Um, might have done, but I think he had to reroll that. Like, obviously, you don't want to use your second reroll this early, but like, you've got to, haven't you, with your tackle bomb? And I didn't know that Kaz was going to happen, but like, it's so critical to be able to blitz with Mighty Blow every turn. Sometimes you have to stop worrying about reroll management and just accept that you need to use it, you know, even if it drops you to zero rerolls. There's no way you eat that. Just no way. <laughs> You did say he didn't like jump up an adjective, two. Now he doesn't have jump up an adjective. two. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. Very good. He'll be edge one. Oh, dear. Yeah, jump up an edge one absolutely sucks. I <laughs> don't take jump up if you're edge one. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't use the whiz though, because there was the uphill as well on the on the tomb guardian was like decent yeah. right with block. That was that was pretty good odds of not turning over. So like a bolt there, Roxana. That that I think that was a pretty good turn to to go in there. Yeah, exactly, here, Dev. Yeah, I did not like that non reroll. <laughs> that that was different though, Mazam. Yeah, that was much. That was long before the BBRC. That was long before the BBRC. Saving them for the first half kicks. Oh, there we go. There's a nice cheeky cast. Three Kaz in the first three turns. I know. This game's got everything that I could ever want, Jim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just so critical, right? It's like when you roll dub skulls or whatever with your with your war dancer, right? And you don't want to have to re-roll it, but you've got to because it's your dancer and you just lose the game if they go out right. 
Yeah. It's a similar kind of thing. You've just you've just got to re-roll that, I think. He was just too good a player. Well, he's just out for another game as well. You know, mm. they, they just as well say, do you know what? Um, yeah. <laughs> it's nice being in the chalice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you don't, you don't expect him to get cast, but, like, I just think you just want him on his feet and everything, right? And you want, yeah. you want to get the knockdown, like it's a tackle mighty hit on a... On a zone, like, I just think it was... There is the chance of him going out, and I know it's not a massive chance, but I think it was definitely worth re-rolling. It's obviously easier to say after it's after it's failed in the most monumental way possible. <laughs> but, I mean, I... I yeah, I we're know. all experts in hindsight, aren't we? But there's no... I wouldn't have even thought about re-rolling that. No. <clears throat> um, I don't know, Blob's good. I don't know. Another good fireball opportunity here. Um, four players, but refuses it. Yeah, the ball's very protected, though, isn't it? The pro it's like it's a yeah. lot more problematic now. Like you could yeah. just bolt because you've got Roxana. Like that's the bolt and Roxana play is always on. But uh, I think I think he had to bolt a few turns, like bolt or fireball a few turns ago. I think that was a yeah, 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 really good opportunity with that that club scores. He doesn't really roll that. Maybe sh should have done. Maybe he should have re-rolled that because I don't feel like he's going to do anything now, right? He's got so few players left. But that was a failed should. dodge, wasn't it? So yeah. the dodge was the re-roll. No, no, he's got tackle. Ah, right. Okay. Oh, in that case, yeah, definite re-roll there. But you know, again. What do I know about reroll management, Jim? Because <laughs> <laughs> now he's getting fouled, right? Like it's yeah, that's the problem. The sneaky, get dirty player is gonna foul him. Her, uh, whatever. <laughs> Kemri are good when they roll well, aren't they? And they just remove everything. <clears throat> They're just so one-dimensional, aren't they? You yeah. know. It, that's they the always thing. they always were, but without decay, you know, they would just be that that little bit more effective. They wouldn't be massively more effective. They wouldn't win any more games. It's just that people playing them would be able to cope with the ridiculousness of Tomb Guardians just collapsing like a cheap deck of cards, you know? Yeah. He's going for the foul on Roxy. Brilliant. Unassisted dirt. It's got sneaky git. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Roxana's only armor seven though, isn't she? So it still would have been what 42, 58 percent. Yeah, not not bad, not a bad foul at all. I, I quite like nope. going for it. She's amazing. She's had five juggernaut. Leap. Amazon's not going quietly into the night here though, Jim. They're uh, Move up breaking well. armor for fun, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's Roxana. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah, I think I think he had the whiz a few turns ago. Or just run away properly and not not let Roxana get punched. <laughs> oh, he's blitzing the wrong friggin' way. He could have blitzed the DP and then chain pushed that the base off. I, you know, that, that way works as well, but I'd have gone the other way, just saying. Yeah, this this gave the follow up hit from the tackle, whereas going the other way, he could have had the follow up hit from the mighty blow, couldn't he? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Indeed, dear Dev, but not nightmare when you just do nothing with her and, <laughs> and get her cast out. <laughs> I think, I think, um, the Dusk Bunny had to realise, like, what a clock he was on. Um, in this game, it feels like, you know, he he's just tried to kind of play normally. And, like, he did take two cars in the first turn, which does fuck over your defense. So I can understand kind of, like, giving up a bit and then waiting for your own offense to use the wizard to get through and, like, you know, make it 1-1 one, one, or maybe save it for overtime even. Um, but I think that after that dub scores, it wasn't re-rolled. I think there was maybe some chance to 
to kind of go all in that maybe he should have taken. There was a window, wasn't there? And you you spotted that window, um, and it wasn't taken. Yeah. But you know, it's it's easier to like you know to do that. I and mean, maybe he thought about it for ages, right? Maybe he thought about it for like two minutes and then just didn't do it. You don't know on the on the replays. But. And it's easier to say that's what he should have done now, now that it's all failed and he's, he's yeah, up yeah. shit creek. <laughs> I would say that um, Divac seems to, or Devac seems to have kept his head, especially after losing, you know, his key player. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Because he, he, he'd only get the one turn. But still, he could, he could still push him in for the one turn attempt with Roxana. Like, Roxana gives a valid one turn attempt. So this is a bit, this is a bit loose, isn't it? Putting him on the... Thing. Gonna see another sneaky get hit, I reckon. Yeah, oh, yeah, he couldn't. He, he wants the assist. He, he couldn't go there to assist because he'd just get surfed. Yeah, yeah. Roxanne. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. So I guess you do run and, and, and surf with... Well, not surf, like, make him score. I guess he scores before you get to surfing. Oh, he's got Fend anyway. I feel like blitzing with Roxana so that you would get a one turn is maybe the best chance. No, you get the one turn anyway, don't you? Disregard, you get the one turn anyway. You God, do, I'm yeah. I'm being an yeah. idiot. I was being really stupid. <laughs> I was literally being really stupid because I thought he'd score seven. I just didn't realise. Okay, that was that. Was, I was being dumb. Disregard. Only true blood bowlers, Jim, do one turns on turn seven as opposed to turn eight. <laughs> yeah. When they don't realise it's actually turn seven as opposed to turn eight. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember that. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Dev. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing. Oh, no reroll. What a win. I mean, it was obviously the right thing to do, but he, he could have rerolled it, couldn't he? I guess it's only a it's only a normal player. If it was like Roxana and you got the three dice, I'd be tempted to reroll. To be honest, I'd literally be tempted to reroll a hit on Roxana with three dice. I'd but, roll a three D there, but you know, it's yes. fine not rerolling it. Yeah. yeah, and he still got two rerolls. Yeah, and he didn't reroll that hit. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Yep, I bet he'll be regretting that now. Holy moly. And that, the thing is, I just thought it was positionally, I thought it was a bad dub skull as well, because he was open to the wizard and the uphill, and like just everything was bad. Like, I just thought he had to reroll it, not only because the guy got cast and he needed, really needed the mighty bow tackle anyway, like, so, you know, losing him was bad. I just felt like he just had to reroll it anyway. Yeah, he was in a position as well where he may have got fouled, you know. Um, it, I don't think it was beyond the realms of possibility for a couple of squares to be cleared around him. And then you're looking at a plus three, plus four foul mm -hmm. against him, which isn't ideal either. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but we are where we are. Um, Amazons are down to eight, nine. Yep, something like that. Nine. <clears throat> and yeah, you can't really get the pushes here, can he? To push rocks on her. Very difficult. Just give up. Needs three pushes, like it's asking a lot. So they both basically set up for the right, didn't they, with a bit of a bit of one turn defence. Yeah. Maybe the Roxana Surf was the be better play there. It's not bad, is it? She could have gone, gone for yeah, yeah, I've gone for the Surf there. Take taking taking out his dirty player is pretty important if you want to survive. Yeah, exactly, Muppy. Yeah, that dirty player is has got good potential to ruin your day by constantly fouling you. <laughs> 
Like, it's it's adding to his overtime equity, right? Because as, as Zon's, the best you can do now, realistically, is overtime. And, and this, you know, he's got two dirty... Okay, he's got two dirty players anyway, but... Getting rid of one of them. Especially the sneaky kit one. It's just something... It's just something you you should target, isn't it? You know, um, when, when you're playing teams with attrition potential, you know you you just target players that are, gonna, are more likely to cause that attrition. Yeah. Are we going to see a Daka? That'd be good, wouldn't it? Maybe. I can't wait, Jim. <laughs> I, I genuinely <laughs> hope. I genuinely hope we get to see a Daka, honestly. <laughs> the most like move in the whole of the Blood Bowl universe. <laughs> Daka, Daka, here I go again. <laughs> sure, looks like a Daka. You say Daka five times in a mirror, Jim. Chanter appears behind you and goes, well, <laughs> this is something you haven't seen before. <laughs> <laughs> wow, rerolls the pickup. Interesting. I have four, I guess. Oh, it's not a Daka. He's gone forward. Boo. I guess you had to reroll the pickup there. The fact that you decided to do it first, freaking action. Yeah. But I don't know. He had a lot of he had a lot of screeny stuff there, didn't he? Yeah, oh, but wow. then you, you, you're just giving up your entire turn, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not blocking, right? That's the thing. He's not even blitzing, I don't think. So he's not losing oh, that it, much. No, in that case, he shouldn't have re-rolled it then. So mm -hmm. it was, yeah, on, on all fronts, pretty stupid. <laughs> hey, Dev, hey, Dev, with the Daoism here. The mental thing is that self cas in turn two probably added 5 to 10% to John's chance. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> lost a lot of players, Stradik here. Lost a lot of players. Um, and there's... I mean, I'll carry on playing a few more with them and see if I can rescue the, the team and the record. But yeah, it's looking looking bad right now. But yeah, I think I mean I think he, yeah I mean I did definitely reroll that hit as much as you don't want to. It's it's like every time you reroll a double skull with a ward answer on like when you could take the when you could take the double skull and be quite happy, you just have to you just have to reroll it because it's your ward answer. <laughs> and that was the same kind of thing, right? It's his jump up, pull a yeah tackle with, without without a doubt. Yeah. Absolute no brainer. Maybe he Again? tried and like it, ran, you know, it ran out of time or something. That's <laughs> who knows. Maybe he was like, maybe he'd gone for a walk or was, you know, having maybe dinner with a family a or something. It, Jim, yeah, yeah. There may be a reason behind it. I, I tend to doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just Jimmy Fantastic trying to see the best in everyone right there. <laughs> I'm trying. Blood Bowl's Mister Nice. Yeah. Yeah, quick score into whiz and turnover. It's not a bad idea, right? Because if you if you if you make the the Kenry try to score quickly, then they get themselves in trouble, can't they? So mm. this doesn't seem like a. I think I feel like a Daka might have been better than you know giving up. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks this turn. I don't know. It's the classic my face, your fist strategy, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, this is the problem that I have with everybody who criticizes the Daka because they just act like, oh, well, okay, naturally, giving him loads of hits has worked out pretty well. <laughs> They act like, you know, if you hadn't dackered, you would have just scored easily and not used any rerolls and not taken any attrition. But the problem is, by doing a normal offense, then, you know, this has failed and now you're getting all these hits, you're getting the guy served. And, you know, it's, it's not totally peachy, is it? 
My biggest problem with the DACA is it's so frigging good. <laughs> That's my biggest problem with it. I, I, you know, I, I hate the morality behind it. I don't think it's blood bowl. But the biggest reason why I hate it is because it's so frigging effective. You're basically protecting your whole team. You're minimizing attrition, you know, for, for a number of turns. What's not to like about that when you're rolling with pro elves or wood elves? Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I, I, you, you know me, right? I, I love Chunter, right? And I get what he's saying, but when Chunter does start going into a rationale behind why daiquiring doesn't work, I, I think it there should be an amendment to that. It doesn't work for him because Chunter is an exceptionally aggressive elf ball style coach, isn't he? Yeah. And and it works for him really, really well. And no one can do it quite the way Chunter does it. You know, he's rightfully sort of developed that, you know, brand, I guess, for want of a better word. <laughs> brand but, of being a complete lunatic. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, um, and and do you know what? More often than not, I think it's got a lot to do with his mindset and personality as well. You know, the way he plays wouldn't work for me. Yeah. Um, I, I just wouldn't be as good at it because I couldn't handle the bad beats where Chunter's, you know, probably having another crep and a doobie or whatever but you know yeah i i, I think you know I, I i i like when chunter and you discuss it you know um because it's always on the right side of civil you know um which it should be anyway you know everyone's allowed an opinion you're allowed to disagree with it um yeah. but yeah i i think that I, I, I think you both make points, you know, without me getting splinters in my ass sitting on this fence, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tend to, I think I lean slightly towards your rationale of it's just so strategically good. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't think you should always do it, but I think, I just feel like the criticisms aren't particularly fair when people criticize yeah. it wow yeah. no no hesitation in that re-roll oh we could go back jim i you know chances are we could go back through your youtube archive and find a number of occasions where the DAC has performed poorly yeah. you know well there's the, the bolt comes in there fair enough just leaves him a two plus to get the ball give it a roxy yeah <laughs> screw <laughs> All the opinion is, all, all Scurify opinion is, Scuro has only won SFL twice. <laughs> FS, Jim. FFS. Seriously. Are we going to have a glorious return to the SFL this season, Jim, when it starts in about, in about December? <laughs> no, I, no, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to stay out of it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> not push my luck. I think I'll be lucky if I'm still alive <laughs> next season. SFL finishes on time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can't hang. No, I don't. I don't want to risk, you know, ruining it for everyone. I'm just going to do what I do every season. Oh, there we go. A nice little death. Yep. And the other one. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Squirrel! <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to do what I do in every SFL season, Jim. I'm going to get to the semi final and then lose spectacularly. <laughs> oh. I, I'm, I, I generally make the playoffs for free. This is how inept. The rest of the competition is in the SFL gym. I made the semi-finals with Underworld. Friggin' Underworld. I topped the division with Underworld. Honestly. I don't understand why he moved it from in front. Wasn't in front better? This is a big boy foul, isn't it? I like it because it was too easy for Roxy to get the ball, but wasn't under better because it's a four plus... Well, no, it's a three plus, three plus, two plus. Whereas if he's there, it's still a four plus. Yeah. Three plus. This uh, sorry, three. It's still a three plus three plus. But then it'd be a two two. It'd be adding one more dodge, wouldn't it? So it's surely got to be better if he won behind. <laughs> so <deep. laughs> Fun fact: my Agi three ball centaur in rebel. Yeah. 
called Sir Squirrel Dude is now on 235 SPPs. Glorious. That's a lot of SPPs. It is. Squirrel Dude's a whole lot of bull. <laughs> Both down to one reroll. Oh, there's the dot. One in nine fail. Instant one in nine. That brings another tackler into the play. Into the play, into the picture. That's it. Yeah, Amazon's uh, in big trouble here. There's a DP loitering for the Roxana stamp. Yep. I think you foul before pickup, don't you? I would, I would have blitzed with this tackler. Yeah, yeah, blitzed the movement. Yeah. Or the Agi. Both, yeah. both good targets. Actually, you could have blitzed the Agi into the other tackler, couldn't you? So yes. you could have ensured a 4D on the Agi. The thing is, I'd want to try the pickup afterwards, but I want to foul Roxy first. We just roll pals, Jim. Roll pals is good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like this. I think you. I think you've got to go for the foul before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess that's why he moved back as the assist for the foul, isn't it? That's why he moved there. Yes, it was worse, but he got to assist the foul. Yeah, of course. Fails the old pickup. Oh, there's a glimmer for the Amazons. Yeah, not, not much, but it's there. One D pow, that clears the tackle zone. He's yeah, got the edge there. Yeah. And then to what? Just dodge out the move, the move, and pass to it. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. This isn't hard at all, is it? Yeah, if only nope. if only blitz the edge four here, like you said. Yeah, I didn't like leaving the edge four open. No. Gets the tuddy. Well, did have to use his wizard though, so he doesn't have the wizard for the turnover, but this is this is not automatic for Kemri, is it? Like what's this about a three or four turn drive? Three turn drive. Three turn drive. Kem yeah. Kemri are renowned for their speed, <laughs> um, you know, and their two and three turn drive success. <laughs> but yeah, without the wizard, you'd imagine it's going to be overtime. I would think. Like at best for the for the songs. And you just feel that all of that would have been avoided. If he'd smashed that Agi 4. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he had to, yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. What, he blitzed I, that turn? I, I, would have cert I would have certainly smashed the Agi 4, then locked the movement up with tackle. You know, that 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 was the play. Um, especially if you got a power on that Agi 4 with the first hit, because then you got a tackler. Yeah. Yeah, boy. It's really easy from the commentary booth playing this game, and it? it's really easy, you know. Yeah. Absolutely, guys. Oh, you might just catch the kickoff. The old five plus. No. Shocked. That's that's kind of all right, though, isn't it? So you can get up to the halfway line, and then it's just one yeah. GFI. So yeah, huge, yeah. obviously huge pickup. But if you can do it. He's got half a chance. And lots of 3Ds, but it's not really what you want, is it? You, you've got to get forward. <laughs> it's so yeah. it's so hard for the Camry to get forward. They've just got to get forward. Wild well, goes to pick up first. Yeah, he's gonna have to st stay behind. Yeah, this is this is unfortunate, isn't it? I would have tried to have got something ahead, so he could have actually stayed. Like he could have stayed ahead, right? He could have uh, he could have stood here and had that guy there, and he would have actually. Yeah, yeah, and he would have been caged up, wouldn't he? Yeah. He's given himself a lot to do now, hasn't he? Yeah. I guess he just doesn't care that much about the score, right? Because he's got all the time. But still, 
the the zones can score pretty easily with Roxana in overtime, so. I like I like where he's put the guard skelly so the Amazons can't run around the back and get a one D option. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And leap as well, right, with Roxana. Yeah. That's uh pretty terrifying the old Roxana leap. Wouldn't you have given yourself a scoring threat here, Jim? Because the Kemi might shit the bed here. It's hard though, no, you've got so few players. So few players, I don't think you can. I think you've got to just play for overtime. Like, if you had 11, then yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I understand the risks behind doing that, but... I would call it a canoring threat rather than a scoring threat. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair enough. And there's the Skellington scoring threat. Both of them, maybe. You might move both Skellingtons forward five so that he's got two, two chances of a handoff. Pretty good. You don't see plus movement on a Kemri Blitzer every day, do you? No. Oh, it's quite interesting. Don't feel like he's got a ton of value from it. Obviously, he'd rather have movement on the uh, one of the one of the throwers, wouldn't he? Yeah. There's no surf on Squirrel, dude. Yes, there is. He's got Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Oh shit! Yeah, the Juggernaut. It's like he's got Fend, but yeah, the, the Roxana has Juggernaut. Boy, howdy, this is a bit of a nightmare mistake. He needs to he needs to put a guy behind him, doesn't he? Yeah. It's not even a red; it's just a one now. Boy, howdy, yeah, of course he's got to go for it, yeah. And this wow, is where, and, and this is where a scoring threat. Well, well, we'll see what how it plays out, but oh, he's not going for it. Uh, oh no, no, Shawnee, no. Oh, well, okay, we'll do scores anyway. Yeah, you've got to go for that, haven't you? I think yeah. you've got to go for it. Yeah. But I mean. Wouldn't have worked. Uh, maybe you don't have to go for it, I guess. Like, Kemri are pretty shit, aren't they, with agility things? But he's got so few players, I feel like it would have been pretty easy to have blocked down whatever got in the way, so. I, th he was I think he was right. He was to destined play. to fail, wasn't he? He was destined yeah. to fail. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was yeah, still I, I, I think he needed to go for that. Yeah, I think he had to. Because, yeah, it just, there just wasn't enough to get in the way, was there? Still, Jim, let me wipe a tear away for the Amazons. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they just both forgot about jugs. Yeah, maybe they, maybe they just both forgot about jugs. Well, there you go. Um, commiserations, Dusk Bunny. Congratulations, Devik. And thank you very much, Calcium. Always, always a pleasure to have you on 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 comms. Absolutely glorious. You're welcome. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>